you too <laughs> what's the deal man it's your boy Gilham. i'm back with another reaction and i got some more in betweeners this is uh season one still episode three the second one got blocked completely and the first one got blocked in the uk so i'm still trying to put these up i told, told y'all i was going to continue to keep um putting these up and then hopefully they get unblocked because i did appeal them but anyway we about to get straight into it make sure you sub to the channel and make sure you like this video and we about to get into it so, I'm halfway through my first term at a new school. Nice badge, Dickie. And, well, it could have been worse. I will get you. I still have all my limbs. Hey! Just. I've met loads of new people. And oh, best oh. of all, no one's tried to- When he hit that girl with that frisbee. Man. <laughs> Yo. Fuck my mum yet. She's fit. She is fit. Don't have a wank over my mum. And unlike my old school, there were girls here. And if there's one thing I now know about girls, and let's face it, there is only one thing I now know about girls, it's the boys who drive are a whole lot more attractive than those who don't. Careful. As he was the oldest, our chances of getting a car to impress the ladies rested on Simon's shoulders. Gently does it. Oh, and his stupid, uncoordinated oh. size 10 feet. Careful. A little bit more. I'm just not great at parallel parking. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! So I asked me Nan, she wants to know if you want some help parking. Steady <laughs> <laughs> on, boys. It's not easy for Simon. OK, let's try again. Oh, shit! <laughs> um, right, um, OK, off we go. Simon, into first. Shouldn't you leave a note? No, we're driving off. Quickly now. Drive. Quickly now. Oh, that's Drive. the terrible, worst first lesson ever. So it looked like it might be quite some time before we were picking up girls in a car. Good mate. Pretty Jack. fucking mate. I have just had the best lesson ever. Jack Stevens dropped his ruler next to Miss Tim's, and when she bent over to pick it up, I saw loads of leg on the way down and a little bit of tit on the way up. You lucky git. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's all locked away up here in the visual wank bank. I thought you passed your written test. Yeah, I did. I got the practical tomorrow. I thought this might give me a few tips. Um, I don't think there is a section on how not to be a whining little bitch. Brilliant. <laughs> if you pass, we could go on a road trip. Could do. Maybe we could see what Carly's doing and go somewhere with her. Look, a car is like a mobile pulling machine. Forget about Carly, forget about all the girls at this school. There's a whole world of pussy out there. He's right. Hey, he be lying like a mug when it comes to them girls, but he, he be right though, man. He's a liar though. <laughs> right, although he expressed it like a terrible misogynist. Thank you. Why don't you come to Fort Park? There's always loads of birds there. Oh my god, yes. Fort Park. I can get you free tickets. How? I work there. Mopping up sick. Some sick. How come you never mentioned you work at Thorpe Park before? I used to work at Asda and you never asked about that. I suppose your old man needs the money. <laughs> he doesn't, actually. But paying for rent boys can't be cheap, Neil. Well, my dad's not bent. Why is he paying for rent boys, then? He's not. Well, they give him freebies. Look, I think we should lay off Neil a bit. <laughs> is it right, Neil, that Thorpe Park has one of only two pulley <laughs> launch coasters <laughs> outside North America? I don't know. It is right. I don't know if my dad will let me go anyway. What's it got to do with your dad? He's paying for my car. He might not let me do long journeys yet. Surely he'll want you to get sucked off by a little lovely on the teacup ride. <laughs> are there really loads of girls there, Neil? Oh, yeah. Sometimes on the ride to boobs. Hey, he's an asshole, man. Oh, I gotta rewind that back. Right? Are there really loads of girls there, Neil? Oh, yeah. Sometimes on the ride to boobs pop out. You only get a split second to tick, so they're going at about 70 miles an hour. But it's still good, though. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Simon passes his test, yeah. drives us to Thorpe Park, Neil gets us freebies, and I get to ride... The man's cock in the bushes. The Nemesis Inferno. This is going to be awesome if I pass my test. Roller coasters and tits. This is going to be brilliant if I pass my test. Despite our excitement, we knew it would take a miracle for Simon to pass his test. But miracles often come in unlikely packages. Hello, Simon. I'm Tracy, your examiner for today's test. Hello. Don't look so nervous. I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? Ready to be, um, examined? I'm a bit nervous. It's perfectly natural, sweetheart. We just need to loosen you up. Ease into it. Whoa. Now, the first part of the test is a doddle. All you've got to do is sing out the registration plate of that blue car. Um, OK, it's... It's, um, E-O-S, no, five, one, 
C U Z. Shit, it's a V, not a U, isn't it? Well, technically, yes, but um, you get a pass on that one for having such pretty eyes. Don't tell me that he got. Hey, don't know. Uh uh. He, first of all, he looks scared right now. <laughs> what the hell? Right. How many of y'all would have actually did that for, for y'all license? Wow. To the Batmobile, Robin. Sorry. <laughs> Off you pop to your car. Nice. I've been editing all my uh -huh. videos for years and going into the studio and sitting there for days and days and days. I think she'd like stop. Why don't you just let me help you with that? Hey, she's really trying it now. <laughs> hey, yo. So, Simon, have you got a girlfriend? Is this part of the test? No, but I will fail you if you say yes. <laughs> right, just slip it into first and pull out of the centre slowly. Shit. Stalled it. False start. Just relax. Try again. Ooh. Oh, you're shaking. Oh, I've failed, haven't I? Shush, shush, silly. No one's going to fail here. Um, right, I'm, I'm not sure that's helping with the nerves, actually. Simon, if you don't want my help, you've only to say. But trust me, I know how difficult this test can be. <laughs> okay, let me get my life. Good boy. You steer. And I'll do the pedals. That's the tricky bit. There you go, keep crying, got the most. Simon uh, never did tell us what happened on his driving test. She went around the big park around the corner. I passed! Yay! I passed! First time! And his little so brother was bad as hell he Yeah, I didn't shake on it. I bet's a bet. Unlucky. Oh, well done, Simon. We knew you'd pass. Your dad's just bringing round your new car. Oh, God, Mum, this is brilliant. <laughs> that is not fair. You're not allowed to touch. He's gonna have the worst car in the world, ain't he? Hey. Oh, come on, man. I'm too proud for this. Hey. This show funny as hell. Shit. Well, we're very proud of you. It's a Fiat or something, but he says it is second hand. Oh God, man, that doesn't matter. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is the gayest car I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, no. Dad, really? Really? It might not look much. It's a great ride today. And you won't be able to get up enough speed in it to kill yourself. I don't want it. Come on. It's a special edition. I'm a oh, boy. I bet you made to school I think it's cool. I can't go to school in it. Well, if I was a girl, <laughs> I'd think whoever drove this was pretty trendy. Are you trying to wind me up? Why are you saying these things? <laughs> well, I think you should just be a bit more grateful, to be honest. Oh, Christ, it's got a tape deck. See, that's good. No, it's not. <laughs> you can't even buy tapes anymore. Oh, you're being melodramatic again. Now, Hey, <laughs> he said he got a tape deck. She says, see, that's cool. <laughs> oh. No, you can't even buy tapes anymore. Oh, you're being melodramatic again. Now, why don't you go and show Will? I bet he'll be jealous. Yeah, he'll be really jealous of how yellow it is. And be careful. <laughs> that's the most valuable present you'll ever get. I fucking hope not. Oh, I heard that. I'm not riding in there. The good news was that Simon had passed. The not so good news was bright yellow and parked in my driveway. Well, I don't think it's too bad. It's not <laughs> great, though, is it? No. But don't look at the external realities. Think of the immense possibilities. What? Yes, it's a Cinquecento Hawaii, <laughs> but it's also freedom. It's the possibility of driving our own destiny. We can be what we want now. Push our lives literally in the direction we want them to. Oh, Christ, is that a tape deck? Check out the <laughs> Bender Mobile. It looks like a Pino's car. He's just jealous because his family haven't discovered fire yet. You fucking what, <laughs> Mackenzie? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Mackenzie. Oh, hello, Mark. Is this your car? Oh, no, it's, uh, it's Cooper's. Oh. Shame about the colour, Simon. 
Right. <laughs> um, Mum, we're just off to Thorpe Park and we're running a bit late, so we should probably go now. Thorpe Park? To ride roller coasters? Is it safe? Yes, it's incredibly safe. Well, won't you be frightened? You cried when he went on the ghost train. <laughs> I was five years old. Mum, please. I we'll just worry about you, Petal. Oh, I, actually, I should get you a jumper. Go. Just drive before she gets back. Yeah, he got it. Simon's dad needn't have worried. There was no danger of him getting up enough speed to kill himself, <laughs> despite the fact Thorpe would be shut in in a few hours. Where's your new car then, Si? Round here. Fuck me. Do you get a free Barbie when you buy one of these? Shotgun. <laughs> After you. I call shotgun. What? Shotgun. It means I get the front seat. In what way mm. could it possibly mean that? It just does. Look, we drove over here with me in the front seat. We've come to pick you up. We've picked you up. Now in you get. And I'll return to my previous position. It's not happening, freak. I called shotgun. He's right, he did call it. What? You're back in him? Get in the back wheel. Ow! Ow! I'm getting in. Get off. I'm hyperflexing. My bones will pop out. Oh, no. So we had a car. It was a shit car. But it was still a car. It was, it's a All we needed now right. were some girls. Oi, oi. Up ahead. A roof. car full of muff. Pull alongside him, Si. I can't. I'm not turning left. It's against the highway code. We'll just beep him. No. Don't be such a pussy. Oi, no, get off. Yeah, he's oh, got his ass in the back. <sighs> Hello, lovelies. Follow him. All right, I suppose. Oh, you dickheads! They're getting away! Jesus, you make it sound like we're about to attack them. I can't believe you lost the muff wagon. Well, what are we going to do anyway? Follow them until they're forced to drive to a police station? They <laughs> love it, you tall. It's called flirting. Yeah, a terrifying and unsolicited form of flirting. And if you didn't drive like such an old woman, we might actually catch up with them. I'm not going to risk our necks for some random girl. Yeah, well, I'd give a left bollock for them, so get a fucking move on. Actually, I think that's their love ahead. Yes! We've caught up with them! Do a left! What are you doing? Pull out! No! There's a space, you can go now. No, it's not safe. Are you winding me up? Look, go now. Thought parts gonna be closing soon, Si. Look, fuck did. off, alright? I've just passed my test and I'm not gonna crash because you twats can't wait two minutes. Just fucking go! But there's a gap, quickly! Alright, for fuck's sake! Now look what you've made me do! Oh, God. You turned in a funeral, uh, when, oh... Ain't that, like, uh, bad luck for, for a certain amount of time? Like, what, what does that mean, though? Because it's terrible to cut, um, in between a funeral line. I know that everywhere. Why are they going so fucking slowly? Yeah, I mean, it's almost as if they don't want to see their dearly departed fly out the back onto the A320. Oh, God. It wasn't a great start to our first road trip, and knowing our luck, they'd be burying them at Thorpe Park. It's fair to say, overtaking dead bodies wasn't Simon's strong point. By the time we finally got to Thorpe Park, we only had two hours of valuable roller coaster time left. Two hours is cool, I'm about to play walking like that anymore. I can't believe you lost a muff, you bellies. They've given us the come on. Yeah, by driving away as fast as possible. They wanted us to chase them. But it's hard to have a chase when you don't go over 30. It's 30 for a reason. Look, I think we should remember today is about roller coasters and Simon's got us here safely. I thought it was about me passing my test. Yes, as well. But mainly it's about Nemesis Inferno. No, today is about tits. And we are in <laughs> luck. Get them. Right. Are you driving a little bit smooth now, though? You're driving a little bit smoother. Fuck off! I'm not waiting any longer. <laughs> oh, oh no! No way! Oh shit! Oh dear. Your dad's not going to be pleased, is he? God, no! What you've done? I only had it a day. In the You're in the shit. Where are you going? My dad's gonna go mental. I've got to get this fixed. But the roller coasters. I don't care. I have to get this fixed. But Simon, we've come so far. Neil's sister's boyfriend is a mechanic. He'll fix it. Is he? Well, there you go then. We'll go and find Neil. His sister's boyfriend will fix the car, and your dad will be none the wiser. 
And as we've travelled all this way, we might as well enjoy the rides. But my car! Simon, look at me. Look at me. I guarantee... Kids is so... Inf like, you can influence a kid and talk him into... Or persuade him into anything. Well, I'm going to go fix my car. If y'all want to stay, that's up to y'all. <laughs> Real shit. See, the Nemesis Inferno will cheer you up. Or think about them little lovelies. They're in there with their tits and that. Come on. Let's go and find Neil for you. Can't we just phone him? He's at work, Si. He can't take personal calls. We're going to have to go in there if we want to talk to him. But what about my car door? What if someone nicks it? We'll take it with us. They'll definitely have a place <laughs> to store it. Hey, yo. Fine, for fuck's sake. We have baby changing and disabled access for limited rides. Right. Not really what I asked, though. We don't have anywhere to store car doors. Turns out they don't have anywhere to store car doors. Knew it. Fine, we'll take turns carrying it then. I'm not carrying it. Fuck not carrying it, you're paying for it as well, mate. <laughs> Me? Why? Because you ripped it off. You reversed. Yeah, but you're the one who ripped hey, it off. let's not argue. Let's just get in there. Have some fun. I'm Face it, if no you car. could park properly, <laughs> this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, well, I'm the only one who can drive, so you can fuck off. I can drive. I took an army driving course when I was 10. Bollocks. You still wet the bed when you were 10. Yeah, I wet your mum's bed with my spunk. When we got into the park, I realised it had been worth ruining a dignified man's funeral for. It was amazing. We may have lost the, hmm, tits, but the roller coaster was still in our sights. First up, we had to find Neil, if only to stop Simon bitching about his car. I'm not paying for it. Yes, you are. Good luck with that. Let's just find Neil. What's that? Are you all right, Mr Monkey? Does he need help? He's gone mental. Poor oh, fucker. <laughs> Wasp! 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 In my costume! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that hurts. Stupid bloody wasps. Neil, I need to speak to you about your sister's boyfriend. Oh, Jesus, Neil! <laughs> Christ, you're naked under there. Oh. I really don't think it's a good idea to be naked if you're working with kids. But Mr... Oh, man. Holy shit. Oh. What is wrong with him? Monkey isn't naked. He's got a waistcoat and a hat. No, not Mr. Monkey, Neil. You. <laughs> but I'm in the suit. Yes, naked. Look, I'm in agony. You put some of that cream on my stings. God, all right then. The worst ones are on my back and arse. Fuck that. Nah, Look, you lot can stay here and finger Neil's arse if you wanna. But I'm <laughs> off to find the clunge. Neil, seriously, can you put it away so we can talk? Put some clothes on. All right, all right. Dude is weird as hell. Oh, not again. <laughs> what? They're always doing this round here. They're bonkers. They've nicked my clothes. Where would they have put them? I don't know. Last time this happened, they burnt them. Burnt them? Please hurry up. We can't go on the roller coaster if you're naked. He looking at this man's junk the whole time. I even go loud. Watch for like the whole like. Last time look. this happened, they burnt them. Burnt them? Please hurry up. We can't go on the roller coaster if you're naked. Oh, don't worry. I'll get something out of the lost <laughs> property bin. There's always stuff in there. With the stench from Neil's arse still hot. Hey, yeah, Neil a little bit too loose with it, man. He tripping. Not in my nostrils, we headed for Nemesis. Though technically dressed, the clothes Neil had picked from Lost Property made him look surprisingly like a Brazilian male prostitute. God, I've just seen the clunge head towards Nemesis. Oh, sounds like they're thrill seekers too. Oh, I hope they're coxy. This boy got speed. This boy got speedos on. He carried a door. Hey, this is the wildest crew, man. Seekers too. <laughs> Neil, I seriously need to speak to you about my car. What? Your sister's boyfriend works in a garage, doesn't he? Yeah, he works in a garage. Would he be working tonight? Probably. He works most evenings. Brilliant. Perfect. That's sorted. The park's about to close, so we'll go on Nemesis now, and then we can deal with your car later. But we'll go on the Nemesis now. I suppose so. Hello? Yes, I got your text. Yes, I'm safe. No, I'm not crying. <laughs> so far, the only terrifying experience I'd had all day was seeing Neil's cock and balls. But now, the Nemesis Inferno was tantalisingly close. This is your last chance to queue for Nemesis Inferno. The ride is now closing. 
That's nothing. I almost waited three hours for the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland Paris. You are mental. Mental. Why is enjoying things mental? <laughs> this place is full of muff, but you're only interested in roller coasters. Girls are everywhere, Jay. The best rides in the country are only here. You sound like you're 40. Well, I'm queuing, and I'm getting in a separate queue for the front four seats. The front's the best. This ride <laughs> is now closing. So, are you coming? Are you sure your sister's boyfriend will be working tonight, Neil? Yeah, I told you he works evenings. Well, that's all right then. Now, can we please get on the ride? Shotgun the outside seats? No, you can't shotgun a roller coaster. Well, it just is. Oh, yes. You know, this is one of the only two versions of this roller coaster outside of the US. And I promise, although it's taken a little bit longer. Half a fucking hour longer. To queue for the front, it will be worth it. Unencumbered thrills. And we can come back <laughs> all year, thanks to Neil. Come on, we're up. Hey, room yeah. for one more at the front. Sorry? One more at the front. How can there possibly be room for only one more at the front? Well, there's three people on the front, so there's a spare seat there. Yeah, 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 let's, let's just rewind a bit, shall we? Why are there now three people at the front? Sir, so if you could they just get They've pushed in! We've spent over an hour queuing specifically for the front, and they've pushed in! Sir... Get them off! Get them off and make them move! Fucking pushing in! Well, it doesn't matter, we'll sit at the back. Sir, if you Are they so dumb they think it's OK to push in? Make them move! Shut up, you plum, and get on the ride. Sir, it's the last ride of the day, please get on. Well, honestly, it doesn't matter, just get on. Fine! Fucking fine! I'll just, I'll just get on! I'll just get on and sit at the front next to these inconsiderate assholes. <laughs> if you want to be on camera, you want to be behind the camera, you want to do radio, hey, podcast, whatever it is, this, Hold on, this is a pro... Hold on. Oh. He always flipping out on the wrong people. He is wild. <laughs> he is too wild. To these inconsiderate assholes. I'm the worst human being in the world. <laughs> you ain't even had fun no more. <laughs> when I look back on my life, I'm pretty sure that ride will be a low point. But with a bit of luck, the others wouldn't find out who I'd insulted. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't. This is the best. <laughs> You're going to hell. Please don't. So I'd finally got to ride the Nemesis, which wasn't as much fun as I'd hoped. It would be a long journey home, made longer by Simon carrying the door and my heavy sense of shame. Well, it can't be too hard to find. It's the colour of my name's piss. Why are you watching your nan piss? Oh, Christ. What am I going to say to my parents? Will the door go back on? Stop shitting yourself. Right, Neil said his sister's boyfriend will be able to fix it. Oh, he won't be able to fix that. What? You said he'd be able to fix it, no problem. You said he works in a garage. He does. BP garage. He mucks about with cars, but he won't be able to fix that in a million years. The door's <laughs> come off. Oh, this is a disaster. My dad's going to go mad. It'll be fine. We'll find someone else to fix it. I know a bloke who builds Formula One cars. He owes me a favour. I don't think your Maybelief friend will fix this. Look, we'll find a problem mechanic on the way back. It can't be too hard. As long as it's fixed good as new and my parents don't know, that's all I care about. Oh, look, here it is, car part D. Ah. Oh, dear. The fuck has Whoa. happened? Whoa. Holy shit, what's happened? At least they left the tape deck. I don't believe this. Oh, there's no explaining this to my dad. I mean, who and why? <laughs> oh. Yes. That makes sense. Fuckers. Let's get them. Jay, I'm not going to chase after and then fight the Happy Foundation bus. How are we getting on them? And he ain't even the one that said it. I would have whooped my man's... <laughs> oh, man. That's your fault, bro. It's true. Girls do like cars. 
if they just don't like shitty little yellow cars that ruin funerals and don't have all the doors oh, they were made with. Girls are also less keen on boys who wear speedos, borderline sex pests, and people who insult the disabled. Inconsiderate assholes. But it's not all bad. What we learned today is there isn't a car on the planet that can make us cool, whatever state it was in. Oh, man. Dad, what you need to know is it wasn't my fault. Well, I'm sorry, but it wasn't my fault. Hey, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, another great, great episode. That right there was funny as hell. Um, look. The thing about it is, I be wanting to do two of these back to back. I'm so entertained right now, but I guess I gotta wait because I only do one every day. But um, bro, I want to see so bad what this man's dad say. His dad, hey, but you wanted a cool car. You can't handle a car at all. First day, first, not even six hours later. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. But look, man, um, sub to the channel. Make sure that you like this video um, so the channel can keep growing. The boy going to keep grinding. If you like these videos, make sure you let me know in the comments so I can continue to do all the episodes um, on this here platform for you. But uh, I appreciate y'all. Go Ham TV. Let's get it.